Hey, everybody. Yes, this is a bathroom report, but it's not what fantasists might think. Today, I want to talk about hair, but not the kind that grows on your head. I will tell you about how I was able to make my current hair from a bald head in a separate video. Today, I want to tell you how I fought with terrible vegetation on my body. Spoiler, I managed to destroy them. To date, I do not grow hair on my body. Now I even stopped waxing. So to make sure you don't miss my next video about head hair, subscribe and turn on notifications. One more thing. This is not an advertisement for any special products or any miracle method. You won't believe it, but it's very, very simple, but long. In order to get such a result, I used this method for quite a long time and systematically. I want to make an important note. Everything that I will talk about in this video is purely my experience. I am not a professional or an expert. Please do not take my information as an instruction. The technique I will tell you about was selected by me personally. I chose the method of fighting body hair by trial and error method. It helped me to significantly slow down the growth of hair and make them weaker. But I can't know if it will work for you. You should realize that everyone's skin is different and can react to the same substance in completely different ways. If you decide to try my method, do it carefully. Pre-test it on a sensitive, not large area. If the reaction is satisfactory, only then use it on a larger area of the body. Be careful and attentive. What were my starting points? Tight masculine hair, dark color, growth density, above average. Three years before I started ZHT, I couldn't get waxing done. I think you can understand the reason. At that time, my goal was to make my body hair softer and looser, in addition to try to slow down the rate of their growth as much as I could. Before I started my experiments, after shaving, stiff little hairs would appear after 24 hours. I had to shave after one, maximum two days. At that time in my life, my financial situation was difficult. This is why I could not hope for any expensive means to help came folk methods, and as it turned out in the aftermath, they work perfectly. In my case, the whole process to date can be divided into two stages. The first stage, three years before the transgender transition. The second stage is one year after the start of hormone replacement therapy. I saw the first results after about a month. The hair started to grow much slower. After about half a year, I could afford to shave not after one or two days as before, but after five, seven days. In addition, the hair became softer and weaker. As a consequence, after shaving, the hair no longer grows into the skin and irritation has almost disappeared. To my pleasant surprise, I noticed another very related effect. The skin became much softer and more tender. I noticed this feature after the first treatments. After a while, the skin tone evened out and became lighter. By the way, this feature, as it turned out, is perfectly combined with body care procedures, which I will tell you about in one of my next videos. Now I will show you my most problematic area, my legs. I had uh, the most hair on my legs and it was the toughest and thickest. Now you can see the condition of my skin on my legs. I don't know how well you can see it in the video. Anyway, I'm sure you can see the difference from men's legs. Procedures about which I will tell you further, I do now. I like them very much. The skin from them becomes smooth, smooth, smooth. I think that this result I was able to get thanks to a combination of factors. These procedures plus 
laser hair removal plus hormonal therapy. I want to repeat, I am not a professional, and these are just my assumptions. But the fact remains that after four years, my hair does not grow at all, and I stopped waxing. I want to make an important remark. I did not use this technique on my face. I was afraid to do it. All the same, it is a rather harsh and aggressive method for the delicate skin of the face. So, now for the fun part. First of all, a few important rules that I strictly followed. The first rule is not to do the procedure immediately after shaving. It is necessary that at least half a day has passed. The second rule, after shaving, I always used a cream with the effect of slowing hair growth. I don't know how important it is, but that's what I did. I personally use this cream. I still use it now because I personally like it a lot. Sometimes I even use it just as a moisturizer. My son tested it on some parts of his body out of curiosity. As a result, his hair did grow a little slower. Not like mine did after the treatments, but still a little bit slower. So what is this magic product? I'm not going to torture you with any more expectations. You won't believe me now. Yes, it's just plain baking soda. A product that probably every housewife has, and it's not hard to buy. It's so simple. I confess that I myself, when I started to try this method, was very skeptical about it. I did not count on any success. But as it turned out, sometimes the most familiar to us means work a hundred times better than expensive and famous drugs. Moreover, and for ridiculous money. Now I'll tell you the sequence of actions. Bathed, do it as usual. Washed off the detergent with clean water, Apply baking soda liberally on wet skin, very liberally. Apply it wherever you want to beat the hair. Avoid getting it on the mucous membranes. Yeah, I'll say it again. Test your skin for sensitivity to the ingredients. I am not a professional and cannot say with certainty that this method will be safe for you. So, apply the baking soda generously and leave it on for about 10, 15 minutes. At this time, gently effortlessly massage with a loofah or peeling gloves the entire surface with the applied soda, as if gently rubbing it into the skin. After the time I have named you, wash off the product with clean water without detergents. After that, you can use your daily care. I think it will be superfluous to say that it is necessary to moisturize the skin. I did this procedure three times a week for half a year. Then I did it twice a week. Now I use this method at least once a week together with my own nourishing body complex. I will tell you about it in another video. This simple and effective folk method helped me to slow down the growth of hair on my whole body very significantly. In conclusion, as I began my transgender transition and taking hormonal medications, I started laser hair removal. After about half a year, my hair stopped growing altogether. That's how quickly it happened. I don't know what exactly worked more. I'm just stating a fact. Now, only in some places there are thin, transparent hairs that are not noticeable at all. Nothing more. I hope you find my video helpful. I really wanted to help someone to solve this spicy problem. I wish you all the best of luck. If you like the video, please give it a like and I'll say goodbye to you. I'm going to record the next video about turning a bald, almost hairless head into the one I have now. Hugs to you all.